it's me, Jessica Reba. Today I wanted to talk about K-pop stan Twitter and I wanted to discuss whether it was really as bad as people say it is. But before I get into the video, I just want to ask you guys to subscribe and click the bell button because it helps my channel a lot. It makes me want to keep on making videos. Without further ado, let's get into how scary stan Twitter is. Ooh. Whenever I talk about stan Twitter, on like a live stream or whatever like I'll have like a million people like commenting like oh I stay away from k-pop stan twitter it's so toxic it's so horrible blah, 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 blah. and I feel like so many like locals or like non-k-pop fans hate k-pop stan twitter so much and I'm like let's get into it let's have a talk why do people hate it so much so I think a big reason that locals I, I just want to I keep saying locals because I'm not sure how to like address them but you guys know what I mean by locals right if you don't know what a local is it's basically someone who's on twitter they just like stan like western artists and they don't really use twitter for stan purposes they just use it to tweet whatever i don't know i'm not a local but you guys kind of get the gist right but i think a big reason why people hate or locals hate k-pop stan twitter is the whole fan cam culture and if you guys aren't on stan twitter or don't know what the whole fan cam culture is Basically, people will post their own fan cams of K-popies dancing and it can just literally be any K-pop idol and they'll just be like dancing to a comeback or a song or whatever and they will like spam the hell out of that uh, video. People will spam the hell out of their K-pop fan cam and I don't know why, I genuinely don't know why, but this gets locals so mad and I'm like, for what? It's a K-pop video. And I understand maybe it can be a bit annoying if you want to have a look at the replies and you just like see all these K-pop fan cams but these people genuinely let it ruin their day and I must agree I think there's a time and a place for K-pop fan cam spanning spanning spamming but people be really losing sleep over it. I see people like writing out paragraphs and paragraphs and sending it to K-pop idols being like so we do not want to see your K-pop fan cam anymore. Thank you. And it's like Jesus Christ, Ma, is it that deep? Like, wow. It's always just a time and a place for fan cams, and I think I do fit in the whole fan cam thing. It's just a bit of an old trend. I personally kind of have like a fan cam that I used to kind of like put places, but I would never spam it to the extent that actual like fan cam spammers do. I just think it's a bit sad because I don't really see the point in it. And I feel like people are just gonna like maybe post this video on Twitter and just spam fan cams or whatever, but I don't really care. Being a K-popy myself, I don't really understand why people spam fan cams and I don't think a lot of people do. I think some people do it to just like get views, but I think a lot of people are just sheep and they just follow the herd. They see like a bunch of other like K-pop fans spam fan cams like, oh, well, I don't want to be left out. I have to spam a fan cam too. And I feel like there's a whole like sheep mentality there where they'll just spam the fan cam just because they think it's the and everyone else does it but I think it's a bit old at this point like come on it's 2020 and you're still spamming fan cams for what views to like push your faves I don't know because no one really watches the full thing through right so I don't know I understand why locals can get mad at fan cams but I don't think it's something they should be like losing their sleep over because I never ever ever thought it was that deep like I've never thought fan cams were that deep and I don't have a, you know an ill will against people who spam fan cams I just I don't know. I just don't think it's even funny. I don't get the joke. <laughs> um, I understand maybe if you want to get views or attention on an idol, you would like post like, oh, this is this idol. I want them to get attention for da 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 da. And then you post a fan cam. Okay, I get it. But just when there's like a random tweet about like, I don't know, some Western artist posting an album and then you'll just see like a million fan cams in the replies. I'm like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. And this is coming from like a K-pop fan herself. I don't get it. I don't get it so someone please explain like the purpose of fan cam spamming like is it to get views is it supposed to be funny because i just don't get it and there was a point in time where i had a fan cam as well and i was like should i should i be spamming this but yeah i don't get it another reason why people seem to hate stan twitter so much is because of the fan wars and i completely understand this i actually personally think for k-pop stan twitter is a very very toxic place and i do think it needs to change there's always just like fandoms constantly arguing and there's always like tweets with like 10,000 likes about like hating about like on another group and I think it's so sad like I think stan twitter is a really negative place in terms of fan wars but the thing is if you let yourself follow the people who 
kind of participate in fan wars then that's how you're gonna see it so if you just like find the right accounts that don't involve themselves with these fan wars and i think that's personally like a way to avoid it i do think when you are on that side of twitter where everyone's just toxic and arguing i do think kind of it can affect your perception of a fandom because when i was younger I, I let my like perception of a fandom be based on what i saw on twitter and i think that's really unrealistic and stupid of me and i really regret doing that and now that I'm a bit older, I just kind of understand that Twitter does not reflect real life and it never will. Like, you would never see people talking the way that they do in real life on Twitter. And I don't really think that Twitter is the best way to, you know, see what people in the real world think. I don't think it's a good measure for that because people are so, like, a hyper version of themselves that it's never, like, gonna be, like, legit. So I've never really trusted Stan Twitter on to be, like, the public voice because I think Twitter is such, like, a ground where people just act like a hyper version of themselves if that makes sense another reason i see people hating on k-pop stan twitter is because of trolls and i think this is like eh, i mean yes there are trolls but there are trolls in every fandom and you constantly see trolls who aren't even in the k-pop fandom and there are just trolls just because they like to hurt people's feelings online so i don't really think that like a k-pop fandom should be determined by its trolls i know loads of people were like clowning like someone's death with like a k-pop fan cam and then people were all saying all oh, k-pop fans are bad but this is so really stupid and so ignorant because i think like you have to be like another level of stupid to generalize like millions of people it just all boils down to i think on twitter people really turn themselves into this like hyper version of themselves where they feel like they can just say anything and they'll not get any retributions for it in real life and i think that's just basically stan twitter in one like little Thing, really. One of the things that also bugs me about Stan Twitter is all of like these like unfunny jokes about K-pop idols. I'll see like a million tweets clowning Hwasa, but they're never funny. Like they're literally never funny. And even when I wasn't like a Mamamoo fan, I would just look at these stupid Hwasa tweets and be like, Oh, Hwasa's got a smelly banana. Hwasa smelly. Hwasa smelly. Hwasa's dating this person. There's all the same Hwasa smelly jokes and they're so tired and boring. I always found that if you like make fun of an idol and it's kind of in a light way and it's funny, I've always thought that was funny and it'd be acceptable to make a joke about an idol if it was actually funny and people weren't getting like their feelings hurt and it was all just in good fun. But when people are always just tweeting the same tired ass Hwasa smelly, Hwasa supports Trump, Hwasa smelly, Hwasa maga, Hwasa smelly, <laughs> It's so boring. Come up with something new. You guys are so boring. Like it's a hwasa smelly, hwasa ugly, hwasa smelly, hwasa vagina, hwasa smelly. Like, what kind of humor is this? I don't get it. Are you literally two years old? It's the most like undeveloped brain finding this funny. And I don't understand why. Like, I see like a million tweets on my timeline a day, like hwasa smelly, oh hwasa smelly, and then everyone in the replies will be like. Six, 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 you went off, Hwasa so smelly, oof, I can't believe you did this, Hwasa smelly, Hwasa smelly, he 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 he, oh my god, I can't wait till you get cancelled by the moves, oh my god, smelly Hwasa, like, are you not bored, it's just the same old thing, and I just look, I'm sitting here looking at this unfunny shit, like, again, again, you guys are going through the same thing, it's like, it's just not funny, okay, you call Hwasa smelly, wow, Comedian of the year goes to Hwasa smelly joke people. It's so boring And then when you actually just tell them like come on this joke is so tired and it's not even funny anymore They'll be like you're pressed. You're angry. You're angry. Oh my god. I got the moo moo angry Oh my god. I got the moo moo angry. Guess what? Hwasa smelly. It's like no, it's just boring It's like 2020 and people are still being like Hwasa smelly I'm bored Zzz make up something new already i'm so tired of it it's just so tired repetitive and boring and so unfunny how old are you how old are you like tell me in the comments if you find hwasa smelly jokes on stan twitter so funny how old are you because you have to be so undeveloped to really really think that hwasa smelly jokes are so funny in 2020 and it's always it's not just hwasa though it ain't just hwasa the same jokes about idols 
who are just like popular to hate on so yon hwasa so many different idols and they'll just make the same tired ass jokes about them and everyone in the replies will just be like sk, 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 go off oomph oh my god you're about to get cancelled for this one i'm screaming ctf you it's so boring stop it you're making me hate stan twitter and i'm a k-pop myself just stop it be stop being so boring if you're gonna make jokes make funny jokes god now that I got my rant out of the way about all of these K-poppies making unfunny jokes on Stan Twitter, let's move on to the actual locals who just hate K-pop fans in general. I just think you have to be, I think you have to be so, so, so small minded to really, really, really believe that all K-pop fans are bad because you saw like a few tweets from some like trolls who were like making fun of something triggering to you. End of the day, I see so many people letting Stan Twitter get to them, like really, really get to them and they think that it's kind of like real and I understand that mentality because I would think that at first as well but at the end of the day these are just nobody's sitting on their phone with nothing better to do so I really really encourage people to not take stan twitter as seriously as I see people taking it if you just see something that you think is a bit like mm, no you don't have an obligation to stay following to anyone you don't have an obligation to like stay mutuals or with someone or whatever if you see something you don't like unfollow them soft block them or block them it's really just that simple and people really really take stan twitter like so seriously and i understand why people want to but at the end of the day i really don't think stan twitter reflects the real world at all and i think a lot more people need to realize that and it took me a while to realize that too and i used to go on twitter fights and i used to involve myself in fan wars all the time and it's just stupid it's not worth your time it really ain't worth your time it's just tricky because i personally love being on k-pop twitter and i see so much like negative stuff about it like if you don't want to be on it then don't go on it and if you want to try it out then make sure you involve yourself with the right circles of people and just know what you're getting into uh, but you really got to remember at the end of the day and i keep saying this but really stan twitter does not matter in real life like i really don't think it does unless there's like a tweet with like millions of likes hating on a boy group or a girl group then okay maybe i'd be a bit a bit suspicious but yeah as humans i think we just focus on the negative rather than the positive so i think that we see this like loud minority being really really annoying being toxic and we just kind of like group that as k-pop star on twitter in general but i don't really think that's the case because i have met like so many of my like greatest friends on star on twitter like for example daniel who is one of my best friends and it's just like come on you need to realize that there are millions of people on twitter and just because you see like a large group of you know whatever fandom hating on another group or whatever it doesn't mean that that's the majority of the fans and i think people need to realize that because there's millions of people on twitter if you see like 10k likes on a tweet that's like think about it this way there's like 1 million people who aren't tweeting that and then there's going to be 10k people who are tweeting it and if people really really believe that all k-pop fans are bad because of star on twitter then don't even bother with them because they are just so stupid like it's just stupid you have like a lower iq you are stupid okay you are stupid if you really generalize people that much you are stupid okay you stupid you really really think all k-pop fans are bad because of one bad tweet you're stupid that's all i gotta say that's all I gotta say. <laughs> but for real. Yeah, do you guys have the same opinions on K-pop star on Twitter? Do you think it's like this horrible place? So scary. Ooh, ooh, I, 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 what am I doing? For real, do you guys think that star on Twitter is really as scary as people are like making out to be? Or do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? What do you use Twitter for? Just let me know in the comments because I think this is really interesting. I think it's a really interesting debate because I think people are just so stupid. But yeah, this is all from me. Make sure to subscribe because it makes me feel special. And check out my other videos if you want. See you guys later. Bye.